A numerator. Excellent. Lovely. Well done, everyone. It's a denominator. Excellent. We have our number line. Zero. Hi, everyone. I'm Mr. Christopher here at Gars International School. I graduated from the University of Gloucestershire doing a primary PGCE. So my focus is all of those subjects for the primary level and making sure that children get a really, really good base for their learning throughout their learning journey. The first thing we need to do, how many have we got in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. start each lesson with a recap of the children's previous learning. It keeps it really focused on what they've been doing and what they know. So we'll start with some questions on the board and them answering on their whiteboards. It just allows them to ease their way into the lesson, warm up their brains and keep them really focused on their learning, being led by what they know. Then we'll build into a few early activities, perhaps recap questions, perhaps some quite simple to build their confidence, make them feel like they know what they are doing. One seventh, one quarter, one third. What is a non-unit fraction noir? The centrepiece of the lesson will be something that doesn't just showcase what they should be learning and isn't just having them interact with the learning but also interact with common mistakes. That's what I did with this quiz activity where we worked through whether the representation was a quarter or not. So lots of common mistakes in there or misconceptions we might call them. For example um, a quarter shaded where the parts aren't all equal parts. Common mistakes like an extra part, so you know, one part shaded and five parts in total. It's again, it's about making sure they're focused on the learning, but also showing them the pitfalls and misconceptions that they might come across so that if they see themselves making that mistake, they can stop themselves and get it correct. So this is what type of fraction? The denominator is one. Shaker. Um, it, is a unit. it is a unit fraction. Excellent. The third part of the lesson, I really start to drill down and focus onto what they'll be doing in their independent activity. So in this case, they were uh, locating fractions on a number line. So they were presented with a series of number lines that they either had to find a fraction on or identify what fraction I was showing them. So that's really about securing the learning and making sure they have seen an example of the task they are about to do themselves so that when they do see the worksheet, when they do see the task, they they're not having to think as well, I don't understand what I'm being asked to do here. 